Welcome back. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli headed on Wednesday the Cabinet Weekly Meeting. During the meeting, the Cabinet discussed a number of political, economic and social files, as well as implementation of the mega national products. The Cabinet also tackled ministerial decrees and draft laws that aim at achieving economic and social stability, encouraging investments and providing services to citizens. The Cabinet also reviewed the measures taken under the directives of President Abdel Fattah Sisi concerning the health and education sectors in Egypt. The National Youth Conference launches its eighth round at the Monara Conference Center in New Cairo next Saturday with an expected attendance of 1,600 participants. The Presidential Youth Program members as well as the university students and graduates are to attend the conference besides young politicians and engineers working in the national mega projects. The one-day conference includes three sessions including the Ask the President segment, during this session, President Sisi communicates directly with the audience and answers the questions presented earlier so as to raise the public awareness related to ongoing developments in the country. The Arab Foreign Ministers convened in Khan on Tuesday for the 152nd Ordinary Session of the Arab League Ministerial Council following a consultative meeting. The agenda included the Palestinian cause, the Arab-Israeli conflict and providing support for the Palestinian budget. Earlier on Tuesday, the four-way ministerial committee in charge of following up on the developments in the Iranian crisis met at the headquarters of the Arab League in Cairo. The meeting was headed by the United Arab Emirates with the participation of Bahrain, Saudi Arabia and Egypt. The committee submitted a draft statement on the Iranian interference in the affairs of the Arab countries to the meeting of the Arab Foreign Ministers. It also covered the development in the Palestinian cause, the situation in Yemen, Syria and Lebanon in addition to supporting peace and developments in Sudan, while also tackling the safety of maritime movement in the Gulf and Turkish violations of Iraq's sovereignty.